welcome back to Tech Mimic, where you can simply view, imitate, replicate, and get on with your day. Today, we're going to transform the default FreeBSD terminal into something that looks and feels amazing. If you're tired of the plain old terminal and want to make it more visually appealing, stick around. I will show two examples of this, the first for KDE Plasma with the Bash shell. Plasma 6 will be shown, but it will be the same for Plasma 5. And the second for XFCE with the ZS8 shell. Hopefully after seeing both, you are able to make it work on your own specific combination of FreeBSD, Desktop Manager and Shell. During the video, I will drop cards on the screen for easy reference to other videos with related topics that might help you. Also, they will be in the description of this video for your convenience. Open your terminal. In KDE, this will be console. And start by installing the Go language. Type sudo pkg install go. And verify the installed version with the command go version. Powerline Go provides a beautiful and fast prompt for your shell written in the Go language. A link to the GitHub page is in the description of this video. Now that Go is available, install Powerline Go with the command go install github.com forward slash just Jen or Janne forward slash powerline dash go at latest. That will install it in the current directory and in this case that is my home directory but that is what I want. Adjust it if you need to. I'm currently using the bash shell, so my configuration file for a little bit later will be the .bashrc in my home directory. And lastly, we need the powerline fonts. A link is once again in the description. Type sudo pkg install git. And then clone the powerline fonts repository with the command git clone. And then what's on screen now. Once the git repository is cloned, change into the fonts directory and execute the install script. Powerline fonts are now installed. By right clicking the terminal, you can create a new terminal profile or adjust the default profile. Let's create a profile named Powerline and make it the default. In the appearance tab, let's change it to green on black. And select a powerline font, for example, Deja Vu Sans Mono. And I will select a larger font size. You can quickly switch to console profiles when you want to. To check if the new profile settings are set as default and are retained, I quickly exit and return to the terminal. After the installation is complete, we will need to modify our bash configuration to enable Powerline. Currently there is no bash profile present for my user, so let's create one. I'm using vi, but you can just use your favorite editor of course, vi.bashrc. You can pause the video and manually add what is on screen now, or you can find a link to the Tech Mimic GitHub in the video description so you can copy and paste. Adjust the path if you've installed the Go language and or Powerline Go somewhere else or outside of your home directory. And exit VI with colon WQ. Exit and start the terminal again to refresh your bash profile. Our prompt now has a sleek, informative look thanks to Powerline. By default it shows the username, hostname and present working directory. But everything you see can be adjusted as is almost always the case in FreeBSD. Let me change into a subdirectory so you can see the prompt changing. When you go into a directory that needs permissions, a padlock icon is displayed. And when you go into a git repository, the icon will change to a git icon and it will show you the current git branch. When you type a non-existing command or the return code of a command is an error, the prompt will change its color to red. If there are multiple user accounts on this system, different power lines are possible per user. 
because each user will have their own .bash.rc file. And as a last step, let's change it to blue on black. As stated, everything is fully customizable. Open the XFCE terminal and start by installing the Go language. Type sudo pkg install go. And verify the installed version with the command go version. Powerline Go provides a beautiful and fast prompt for your shell written in the Go language. A link to the GitHub page is in the description of this video. Now that Go is available, install Powerline Go with the command go install github.com forward slash just Jen or Janne forward slash powerline dash go at latest. That will install it in the current directory and in this case that is my home directory but that is what I want. Adjust it if you need to. And lastly, we need the Powerline fonts. A link is once again in the description. Type sudo pkg install git. And then clone the Powerline fonts repository with the command git clone. And then what's on screen now. Once the git repository is cloned, change into the fonts directory and execute the install script. Powerline fonts are now installed. By right clicking the terminal and selecting preferences, you can adjust the look of the terminal. Go into the appearance tab and select a Powerline font, for example, Deja Vu Sans Mono. and I will select a larger font size. On the colors tab, I will go for green on black. To check if the new profile settings are set as default and are retained, I quickly exit and return to the terminal. After the installation is complete, we will need to modify our shell configuration to enable Powerline. I'm currently using the ZSH shell, so my configuration file will be .zshrc in my home directory. Let's edit the .zshrc file. I'm using vi, but you can use your favorite editor. vi.zshrc. You can pause the video and manually add what is on screen now, or you can find a link to the TechMimic GitHub in the video description so you can copy and paste. Adjust the path if you've installed the Go language and or Powerline Go somewhere else or outside of your home directory. And exit VI with colon WQ. Exit and start the terminal again to refresh your ZSH profile or source the .zshrc file. Source.zshrc. And there we are. Our prompt now has a sleek, informative look thanks to Powerline. Let me exit and return to the terminal to make sure it is retained. By default, it shows the username, hostname, and present working directory, but everything you see can be adjusted, as is almost always the case in FreeBSD. Let me change into a subdirectory so you can see the prompt changing. And when you go into a Git repository, the icon will change to a Git icon, and it will show you the current Git branch. When you go into a directory that needs permissions, a padlock icon is displayed. When you type a non-existing command or the return code of a command is an error, the prompt will change its color to red. If there are multiple user accounts on this system, different power lines are possible per user, because each user will have their own .bashrc file. As stated, everything is fully customizable. And there you have it. You have transformed your FreeBSD terminal into something that's not just functional, but is also fun to use. That's it. Hope it helped. And if it did, please like the video and keep it up. Until next time, bye.